I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to make these fireworks right here. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, what we wanna do first is we're gonna start with our tool panel over here and I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool. And we're just gonna start by drawing out a nice little rectangle just like this. I'm gonna increase the stroke. We'll do about like 10 point for now. We may come back and adjust that, but we'll see. And this looks good. So let's come back over here to my tools panel and I'm gonna grab the triangle and I'm gonna grab a triangle and throw it right here. I'm gonna make sure to hold this shift button right here because I want it to be consistent. I'm gonna throw this down just a little bit. So let's align these guys just like this. And we can make sure it's actually aligned by coming to my align tool on the right hand panel. And I can just click this middle align and they're aligned. So that's great. Let's move these just a little bit. So this is the overall shape of the rocket, right? But a problem we have is these corners right here. And there's a couple ways that I could get rid of that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of these. I'm gonna grab both shapes and I'm gonna come over here to my shape builder and I'm gonna click that. And I'm just going to cut these little corners and that gets rid of that problem. So now we have this nice little rocket looking shape. It almost looks like a house. So the more I look at this, the more this is a little bit too tall for me. So I'm just going to pull that down a little bit and I'll bring this up. And I think that's a better look. So let's make sure these are still both 10 point strokes. One thing I like to do to my illustrations to give them a little bit more character is round the edges a little bit. So we're gonna do that right here. Maybe something like that. I think that's looking nice. And I think I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit. So maybe a little bit too fat. So let's align this back again in the center. And maybe it's a little bit too long as well. So we'll pull that up and let's grab this top point right here and let's roll that in just to give it a little bit more of a shade that I'm looking for. So now what we gotta do is we gotta add the little stem of the rocket or firework. So we'll throw another rectangle here Make sure it's aligned. You'll see that purple or magenta line in the middle. And I can throw this behind. Again, we want to round it a little bit just to stay consistent with the theme. Not too much though. So let's take this, move it up a little bit. I can move this stick down just a touch. Obviously, this is a good outline of the rocket of what we want. So now I'm gonna start having some fun and adding some color. So let's take this first little body right here and we're gonna make this red. So maybe something like that, that looks nice. I'm gonna make the cone a blue. Yeah, I think that's nice right there. And then the little stem, and now we got all the colors in a good spot. All right, so now we wanna give it a little bit more character. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool again, and I'm gonna draw out three long lines. Let's make these white. We don't need a stroke on these. And I'm going to duplicate, and I'm gonna duplicate one more time. And now that I look at it, these can actually be thicker. So we'll drag those out just a little bit. And I wanna make sure that they're distributed evenly. So let's distribute, and then we'll align them. Now I'm gonna take them and I'm just going to rotate just like that. I'm gonna grab all three of these lines and I'm gonna grab this base and I'm gonna come back over here to my shape builder and we're just going to get rid of the pieces that we don't need. Perfect. So now you see we've got these three stripes and that's the look I'm looking for, but something's not right. We wanna make sure that these look like they're inside of my stroke. So we're gonna take this background and we're going to duplicate it and we're gonna throw it all the way to the top or get rid of the fill, we don't need that. And I'm gonna take my cone right here and I'm gonna throw it all the way to the top. And now we have the illusion that these stripes are inside of my shape. So let's have a little bit more fun. Let's go over to the shape panel and let's grab the star tool. And we're just gonna draw that out. And I don't want a stroke on this and I wanna turn this white and we're gonna shrink it just a touch. We're gonna put this right here in the cone. Let's make sure it's center perfect. We get those magenta lines. And I'm gonna round it again just to make sure we're consistent with the theme we've got going on. So now, really quickly, we've built this rocket. And there's still a couple things we're gonna do to give it more depth. But super quick, just a couple shapes and you get this outcome. I wanna add a little wick to the bottom of my rocket. So I'm gonna to come to my pencil tool. And I'm gonna change the stroke to black. And we're just gonna draw a little circle, curly, something like that. I think this one will be good. So that's good, we don't wanna fill on it, so we'll turn that off. Come over here to my properties panel, and we're gonna click the round, and now we're gonna take this and throw it all the way in the back. Maybe we'll rotate it just a touch. All right, so I really like how this came out. What we're gonna do next is start adding some fun things like shadows and highlights. So I'm gonna to come to my layers panel, add a new layer. Again, I'm gonna use my pencil tool. This time I just want the fill, and we're gonna have the light coming from the top left onto the bottom right. So I'm gonna draw a shadow everywhere I think a shadow should go. All right, so I've got the shadow everywhere I think it should go. So I'll grab this whole layer and I can come to the opacity and drop it all the way down, maybe like 50% or we'll do like 45. And then I think actually these two, I'm gonna 
drop a little bit farther, maybe like 25%. So now it looks like we have a nice little shadow being casted. We're gonna do the same exact thing for where I think highlights should be. So again, new layer. This time instead of black, I'm gonna grab white and I'm just gonna draw a little highlight where I think highlights are gonna go. So again, grab this layer, drop the opacity, and we get a nice little highlight effect. So I really like this. I think this is a good rocket, but it's kind of boring. It's just a rocket, a little firework. So what we can do is build this into a composition so I can grab all of these layers and I can group and I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm just gonna shrink it down. Maybe something like this, maybe a little bigger. Let's see. So now I'm gonna throw this behind. Perfect, something like that. And looking at it, I realize I don't need all this extra stuff because it's kind of distracting. So I'm going to erase some of this. We'll grab my direct selection tool and I don't need that. And I don't need any of this either. So we'll delete that. Now I'm gonna take this guy right here, duplicate it, come to my align tool and we're gonna flip it. And I'm just going to throw it all the way over here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take all three of these. I'm going to align them and I'm gonna distribute them evenly. All right, so I think this composition is good. There's one more thing we can do to make it really pop. We'll make sure this is nice and in the middle. I'm going to come over here to my shapes and I'm going to grab a red circle. Well, it's not red right now, but it will be. Let's make this red. Perfect. And let's throw this all the way in the background. I want this to be the same red we're using right here. And I'm just going to shrink this a touch, maybe something like this. And I want it to be aligned in the middle and I can actually do it right here. And now what we're going to do, this is where the magic kind of happens. We're going to add a couple more circles or ellipses and we're just going to draw them out. Make sure to hold the ship so they're perfect. And I'm going to throw them over here. Drop it back here. And we're just gonna keep duplicating these. And you'll see what I'm doing. There's gonna be a, a desired effect I want out of this. And now with that, it's got this nice little badge look. It looks like there's some explosion coming from the bottom up here just to have some fun. And another th cool thing we can do is we can take this guy right here and we can come to radial. And this will kind of give it like a firework look. And just doing that little effect right there gives it a cool little firework effect. And just like that, you got a really nice composition of a rocket, firework, super festive, really fun to do. It could be a nice badge or a spot illustration. Super easy to do, but really fun, and I think it looks really nice. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. If you liked the video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.